ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to be here with you today, uh, near to the magic date of 1st of May. Uh, and I'm going to talk on security research. Security, uh, and particularly everything which was dealing with defense matters, was an absolute no-go area for the Commission some, some time ago. Uh, it was, if you would have asked me perhaps some 18 months ago, and uh, you would have asked me, would you think that the Commission could do something in the area of um, defense-related, security-related activities, I would have said no. Um, things have developed very much in this uh, last period of, of 18 months, and it is the feeling which was very, coming very strongly from the European Parliament, very strongly also from uh, the Council of Ministers, that with regard to security, the Commission should be more active. Um, that means not going necessarily into defense related research activities, but to go into security related uh, activities with a civil focus of the application, but of course with a very strong dual use element. Um, I think it was certainly due to the fact that you have um, major new threats which are being recognized. Also the fact of the enlargement plays a role here because uh, the uh, very long borders which are now uh, being added to the European Union need to be protected, need to be protected by yourselves. So I think there is also a new dimension uh, for uh, security in, in Europe. And it's felt that with regard to security matters, it's a lot of fragmentation around. It's a very national thinking. There is no, no, nothing like a security culture in Europe. And in order to overcome this, it is felt that perhaps some activities with regard to, sec to security research could go for the first steps to go towards more um, accepting a common challenge of security. Uh, for this reason, this preparatory action was created. Preparatory action is, of course, to prepare for something. So prepare for something bigger and more sequential and something which could have a real impact on the European scene, uh, while for the time being we are just in a learning curve. Uh, we have this initiative which is outside the framework program. You hear a lot here today about the framework program activities. This is not part of the framework program. It is outside the framework program. It's a very small amount of money which is planned to be spent for the next three years, something like 65 million, out of which we, will, we are now spending 15 million uh, in, in this current year. We are working on a yearly budget. It's always the Council of Ministers and the Parliament who has to make available the money year after year, so we don't have a multi-annual program like in the framework program, but we only have these yearly budgets in a relatively small way. So what we are doing now is we are trying to learn with this preparatory action. I think what we want to obtain is first of all the security which is being something perceived as positive by the European citizen. In order to do that we would like to make the European industry work together because again in the domain of security uh, there's a lot of fragmentation also the national industries are thinking very national you could say in Poland this is natural because you had this uh, situation uh, uh, that you were not part of the European uh, communities but you would also find it in France you would find it in the UK you would find it in other countries it's still in a very very national thinking so again here security of the EU citizen and we would like to have a multidisciplinary, multi-sectoral approach with, which, which shows a clear community added, added value. And we call this that we would like to have a mission-oriented approach. So we would not go for basic research, for fundamental uh, research, but we would more go to something which is nearer to application that we could see European industry and research working together with something which could be understood as common missions. In this priority areas, we have identified five uh, mission, missions, if you want, or mission areas. They're very broad. And I think they are broad at this moment because we are still searching. We are still looking where should we go? Where is this potential of the European industry to work together? And where is also the um, potential of the European countries 
to work together. There might be areas where national authorities would take the view, sorry, here we would like to keep it national. We would not want to have a European cooperation. This is okay. This is something which has to develop over time and not in all these domains you can easily work together. So this is one of the areas where we would like to see how it develops. Now we have identified here these five areas, uh, situation awareness, um, security and protection of network systems, fight against terrorism, crisis management, and interoperability and integration of information systems. Some very short explanation for all the five of them. I will go through it very quickly in order to meet the time limit put by the chairman. Uh, the first one is perhaps particularly interesting here for Poland because of the sea border and land border uh, dimension, because uh, it will have a major impact uh, on border control, uh, here the security uh, awareness, uh, situation awareness, uh, in the situation awareness domain. So I think here is something which could be of particular interest for yourselves. We would like to look into, into questions like information gathering, processing, sharing of intelligence and these kinds of things. Protection of networked systems, here we are looking for example, into uh, nuclear power stations, into other power stations, into the transport of, of uh, electricity and gas, into communication systems and these kind of things, where it would be protected against terroristic uh, attacks. The next one is, uh, in general, uh, protection against terrorism, including bioterrorism. Uh, here, the European Parliament was very keen to look also into the domain of bioterrorism. So, what we would like to see here is to uh, see the, the, what could be done, what kind of information would be necessary in order to uh, combat uh, uh, systems against, against the terroristic, possible terroristic uh, attacks. Uh, crisis management, again, is something if something has happened, how to address uh, uh, operational and technological issues for crisis prevention and in case uh, the, the crisis is there, that uh, you would, one would be able to manage uh, the, the crisis. Again, here you would see uh, uh, shared information management tools and uh, uh, models to facilitate the efficient integration uh, of uh, emergency and management services. Last but not least here, the uh, um, protection of uh, the, inter the achievement of the interoperability and the protection of integration of, of integrated systems. Uh, here perhaps we have to look particularly into the uh, protection of confidentiality uh, uh, and, and confidential systems. I think you will hear uh, from my colleague uh, Stefan uh, Pascal what is already possible today in the, uh, uh, in the IT program, we would like to do things outside the framework program. So it would be perhaps relatively limited here in this area because a lot of things can already be done in the, in the framework program. And here, this part of the program, of this part of this activity, which is not the framework program, should uh, look into domains where you would, for example, have the exchange of confidential information, for example, between police forces cross-border or something of this kind. We would accept in this uh, call which we have now open also support activi activities with regard to roadmaps for research, uh, standardization activities, dissemination activities and others. I think what would be particularly interesting is to see what is the domain where Europe can work together in this, uh, in this domain of security in the future. So this road mapping, I would, I would see as a very interesting part because that is something which we have to get right in the next two or three years in order to have then the right content for the program in, uh, in the year 2007. Mm, perhaps just very short with regard to the participation. Uh, the good news here is that uh, we go higher than in the framework program, so we go up to 75% of cost, which is being co-funded by the, by the Commission, uh, because it is felt that we are here in a domain which is not so much market-driven, but we are in a domain which is public authority-driven, so it is 
uh, needed by public authorities and therefore it is felt that it is justified to go for a higher participation in this area. This is the good news. The bad news, of course, is keep always in mind we only have 15 million. So it's an extremely sh small amount of money which is only available. So it is not that there is now a huge program uh, uh, which is already available. We only have 15 million this year, 65 million for the uh, years 2004, 5 and 6 altogether, and then only as from 2007 we would um, expect to have a bigger program which, would ca could, which could then be of, of perhaps more importance uh, for uh, the uh, industry and the research community, but still it is important to start cooperating now because we are now in this learning curve to to see where would we be able to work together in what areas. So this small call is open since the 31st of March. It will close on the 23rd of June. We will then early July do the evaluation and uh, have uh, come back to the proposals either end of July or at the latest early September. We would then negotiate uh, during September, early October and then uh, contracts should be available before the end of the year and at least everything should be signed and sealed before the end of the year because we are living with a yearly budget. Uh, so this brings me to the, to the end of my presentation. Here is a number of, um, uh, of uh, websites and of uh, possibilities to contact us. I think we are of course very keen to have participation from your country. We are aware of the enormous capabilities which you have here in Poland. Uh, we had an information day on the 25th of March where we had a very uh, significant Polish participation and also uh, two or three uh, project ideas were being uh, presented at this, at this uh, occasion by Polish organizations. So I think you're very well placed to come up with ideas, but of course these ideas have to be brought in a European context with a European uh, uh, consortium, but I'm sure you have already made a lot of experience in the fifth framework program, and so uh, you'll, you'll make your way also in this mini program. Don't be too disappointed if at the end of the day uh, uh, you would be not be successful. Uh, you must see if we get 100 projects, we can perhaps finance six or seven, so we will have most probably have a very, very small success rate, but it will be important to be part of this learning curve and to be part of this discussion towards the uh, uh, bigger program as from 2007 onwards. Thank you very much.